Let's get to this quickly because this is probably the most boring session of the days. But I'm hoping now it happens. Uh, I'm chair of the PI consortium, uh, and at my day today, I'm the director of the Public Compliance Test uh, and vice chair of the uh, CA Council as well. So that's actually a busy job, maybe one of the reasons that we have some issues today. But uh, no, actually, I'm just kidding. Uh, All right. Uh, I'm an writer, I'm also for the Dutch for the PPI government uh, part and uh, also involved with a lot of uh, stuff like uh, PPI consortium but also uh, other uh, quantum uh, projects in the, in the Netherlands. So uh, that's the reason why we're here. Paul. Okay, so a few words about the PPI consortium because we yes. are here and um, so we're a diverse, diverse group. Uh, we currently have about 110 members globally uh, from governments, enterprises, certificate authorities, hardware vendors and software vendors, and many more. Uh, we're a non-profit entity. So this conference has to come from responses because we don't have membership fees as well. That's actually quite challenging to organize an event like this, but I think we did it, and we're here, so thank you for that. Um, so, just a few of our members, but as I said, we have 110. Most of them are listed on our website, a few are, are still pending. And actually, we also have quite a large number of members that are currently in our application process. Uh, we're a bit behind with that, so if you have a running application, please be patient, because We've seen a lot of interest from people to participate in this group of experts and exchange of information and knowledge. And we're really welcoming everyone to do that. Um, but uh, we will hope to come back to you soon on that. So what is it that we're working on? Um, remote key at the station is one. Um, Thomas Christopher is one of the speakers uh, at this uh, conference. He's also chairing a few of the sessions. He's uh, managing the remote key at the station project in the PPI consortium, uh, which is really to um, uh, make sure that a remote entity that doesn't have access to hardware key, hardware security modules, still can verify that the keys were generated and stored securely in a hardware cryptographic mode. What has that to do with post quantum? Well, that is really easy. How can you make something trustworthy to know for sure that something was generated in the hardware security module if you can trust the crypto behind it? Um, and similar for the PQI maturity model. Roman is uh, in, the, uh, in the PQI maturity model. He's chairing that working group, a dedicated working group uh, that is working on establishing a model for uh, best practices and uh, a, a, a system that allows you to understand your current PPI and to implement improvements or identify improvements into your ecosystem. A lot of interest in this, in, in this model. We, we, we receive a lot of good feedback, uh, and we currently actually have a form that you can submit with your feedback um, to improve it further. Yeah, important to note is that everyone can use the PPI maturity model. So you can go to our website from pdic.org and uh, please grab all the information you need for your uh, maturity uh, check and uh, it's free available for everyone. Yes, and similar for the post-quantum capability matrix, something that we introduced shortly after our first conference in Ottawa, Canada earlier this year. Um, um, it's growing and we get more and more vendors submitting <coughs> their products and their capabilities or the capabilities that they're working on. Just so that you have an overview, not to recommend any of the implementations or to say that they're securely implemented, but they're there. And that helps you in your preparation. So, Albert, you're one of the persons that actually came up to the consortium and said, guys, I have a great idea. I have some really good speakers in mind about post quantum, and I want them to present that to PKI consortium because PKI is such an important thing. It was about two years ago, and we said, okay, well, actually, that sounds like a great idea. Let's invite them. And then we said, well, actually, we have also this speaker and that speaker. We have too many speakers, and this is too interesting for the small group we are. Shouldn't we make this public and accessible to everyone? 
Because that is our vision and our mission, yeah? to improve the ecosystem, the PKI ecosystem for everyone, not just for the members of the PKI ecosystem. So that's what you did. Yeah, sure. Uh, the reason why I did that, Paul, is because I saw a lot of uh, issues coming at us, uh, real threats. I mean, uh, a couple of days I read an article about Ed Berg or something, and said he wrote in RSA 2084. I mean, uh, I mean, we think about uh, something about it, but if it's sure, if it's true or not, it doesn't matter. But uh, two years ago, I saw a big amount of threat coming at us, and. Uh, the biggest problem is how can we um, adapt uh, quickly from the, the one crypto agility to the other one? And it takes an amount of time. So from a government perspective, it's also for us very important that we um, act quickly. So you need to know what kind of crypto you have uh, at which uh, situation and for which product. So uh, that was one of the reasons I told, uh, told uh, to Paul. Let's make a topic of this. And uh, I heard that uh, other one was a big success, right? Well, we have some key takeaways on the screen here. All right, right? I know. And it, uh, <laughs> it, it was a good success. And that's also the reason why we did it again. Uh, and, and some of the key takeaways. And I think it's interesting to see are they still standing? What, what are the key, key takeaways of the sessions this time? So at the end of our conference on Wednesday, we will first start with a QA. So, if you have any questions for any of the speakers, or even questions in general, go to pkic.org slash ask. pkic.org slash ask. You can submit your question there. Select one of the speakers or leave it open, and we will get back to that. Maybe during the session of the speaker, maybe afterwards in the Q&A session on Wednesday. And then, after that, we will have a set of key takeaways where we are going to define and verify are the key takeaways still the same? How we learn new things? What is it that we can do? What we've learned from, from all the presentations and the expert speakers uh, that we have here today. So, without going into the actual next slide, next slide, please. Um, yes. Without going into the actual key takeaways, let's have a quick look at the agenda. But actually, they are in the hall, in, 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 the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the foyer. Uh, there's a screen, you can see it. Also, on pkic.org, here's a link on the homepage where you can go to the, uh, the agenda. So, uh, we, we have some, some uh, plenary sessions, which will be in this hall, the blue hall. And then we have some breakout sessions, uh, which will be in, in the you know, rooms six and seven. Um, uh, across the planet uh, uh, the foyer. Uh, so on Wednesday we will continue uh, with uh, very interesting sessions and the, uh, the Q and A here on the left in the plenary, uh, which I think will be very interesting, especially with all your questions that, that you're being uh, uh, or, or submitting. Also, what we have is in the in the foyer. Uh, we have Lareka uh, Center Istiansen, if I pronounce that correctly. Ah, uh, thank you, Albert. And do you want to say something about this uh, this game, this workshop? Yes, uh, it's uh, outside on the, uh, on the on the right side, and uh, um, you have to sign up for it, I guess. Yeah. So uh, Lareka has a, a forum where you can write yourself down. Uh, she has a few sessions scheduled over two days. Um, every time we have two groups of six participants, and you will play an interactive game a workshop um, uh, about the transition to quantum safe uh, PTR. Um, so I think very interesting, very interactive. And uh, this is not something that is available for remote participants, but for everyone who is here in presence, um, please go and, and, and check out the uh, the game that we're playing here. Well, you already covered the housekeeping notes, so I'm not going to talk about it. On this screen, you will see also wherever room six and seven are. Um, and if you're on the live stream, you can switch between the breakout and the live stream session in the left corner of your live stream. Uh, then, yeah, if there are any questions, you can use the chat on the uh, on the, on the live stream, uh, but also submit the questions. And the advantage is if you submit the questions to the forum, it's easier for us to take them on later in the Q&A, where in the chat they get lost more quickly because it's really live in the actual session. Um, 
And then I would like to thank the team contributors for this, uh, for this conference, because what I said, PKI Consortium is a non-profit organization. We have no membership. We want to have a broad participation of as much as possible organizations from government, private entities, and everyone else um, that have expertise in the um, And um, with that, uh, this conference would not have been possible without the significant support, the organizational support of Entrust, um, Lobius, Albert, uh, thank you. Um, but also Tino, Lenny, Sana, um, um, CWI, um, the Center of Mathematics in the Netherlands. Um, so yeah, thank, thank you all for making this event possible because it's not only the financial support that is really important that we get from our sponsors, but also the organizational support from the people that actually spend weeks and weeks of time into organizing the event, coordinating this with the speakers, the facilities here, organizing the stream at the very tight budget we have available to organize. So if you are interested also in making this event possible and to let us do this again, and um, please consider if you could sponsor the DPI Consortium to host such events more frequently. Um, important to know that uh, uh, the first one was in Alpha, right? Yeah. And the second one we thought we need to rent something from the Netherlands. Uh, so this is more uh, the Euro, uh, Europe side. But maybe next year, uh, if we have also enough sponsors, we can uh, make uh, a new session for it in the US, maybe. Yeah. Um, so maybe. We're evaluating what the possibilities are. So, uh, but yeah, everything stands uh, with the support of our sponsors. Um, so yeah, again, thank you for Entros, HID Mobile, uh, PQ Shield, um, and all the other sponsors that are on the screen right now. So with that, before I go to that, I would like to invite uh, Robert Hand to the stage. Um, and Robert gets 60 seconds. And we should have a timer on the screen. Well, that seems to be not working for now. Hopefully, we have to break the microphone. Where's the mic for Robert? Do we have a hand mic? Oh, we should have a Yeah. Yeah, it's mine. Oh. I think someone is breaking the mic here. Not a screen. Oh. <laughs> There's someone can bring a mic for you next speaker. Uh, yep. Hello. Okay. Okay. Am I, is my 60 seconds being used up? Yeah. Is it? You can use your 60 seconds. Uh, you have 30, 30 seconds left. Oh. <laughs> Get started. Okay, just uh, a picture of Entrust. Uh, Entrust has a very broad portfolio. Everything on the right are our capabilities, and we combine these into logical uh, connections and inspirations to solve bigger business challenges or workflows. Or, for example, if we were talking to an online bank, it would include PPI, digital onboarding, data encryption, and trust anchors. And we combine all that into a more complex and more full solution. But critically, for 20 or so years, we've been providing the peak and the process, which is the advice to best practices, helping our customers make our solutions, maintain that level of assurance through life um, for years and years ahead. So our PQ readiness assessments, our crypto agility assessments, our PPI health checks, governance and system all contribute to a secure system through life for all of our customers. Sure, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have a mic for the next speaker um, from Pikishu. Graham, thank you. Hi, good morning. I'm Graham Hackett, PP of Engineering from Pikishu. So, uh, we've been involved with the code development since the beginning of this journey, and the third team of contributed to the standards that are falling part of the draft standards of the distance. Um, we're an IP company, so we develop hardware and software IP and 
have an extensive research team as in the company. Um, today, uh, tomorrow at the conference, we've got this and we'll be demonstrating our IP. Um, this is the first time that we'll be showing our new high performance platform, uh, PQ Perform, um, which is, we believe will be the state of the art for, for PC performance uh, in the future. So uh, please come, come and visit us. I'm joined with my colleagues, uh, Murray Stewart, the senior sales engineer, and uh, Action Postman, the head of product innovation and security. So come by and say hello and talk about all things PQC. Thank you. And with that, we have our four next um, to do their C-second presentation. And again, before we get started, these are the only commercial messages you get on stage today. So. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm Rob Stubbs, sales director of Fontanix. Um, HSMs are architectural dinosaurs. There's been no significant innovation for decades. So Fortanix reinvented the HSM for the modern enterprise. Data Security Manager as a unified cryptographic security platform incorporating HSM key management and more. It can be deployed as either physical or virtual devices. We also offer SaaS across six regions, which provides low entry cost, graphic time to value, and overall simplicity. Our development is led from here in the Netherlands, and one of our senior cryptographers will be speaking after lunch today. Please visit our stand to find out what makes us different and why three of the top four Dutch banks switched to, to Fortanix. You can also enter our prize draw to win a Nintendo Switch. Wow, thank you. Thank you very much. And then we have the uh, uh, quantum resistant lighter. Uh, thank you also for sponsoring at uh, uh, Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Michael Strike, I'm the director of all of the HLE quantum resolved ledger. So, we're all here today because there are some dark clouds on the horizon of uh, cryptography and uh, a bunch of other states that exist in encryption. Uh, as blockchain enthusiasts, uh, about five years ago, we built what's called the quantum resistant ledger. Instead of using elliptical curve cryptography, it uses a hash based signature scheme. Uh, to be able to sign transactions on the network. And uh, this is quite different because it doesn't, uh, it's not, it, it is not vulnerable to a sufficiently powerful quantum computer running shorts <laughs> or any of its variants. So, uh, be able to be able to uh, have consensus uh, on a uh, blockchain network and be able to have it probably quantum computer secure uh, and not risk it. In fact, not risk it for factorization it is quite difficult, but we've been running mainnet for about five years now. We've got some upgrades coming up where we're moving for proof of work, proof of stake. And uh, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. 68 seconds. Something like that. Yeah, pretty close. So uh, with that, Bill, um, I would like to get you on stage for class and uh, present your 60 second. 60 seconds ago. Hey, that's me. Uh, good morning. Uh, I'm from Canada, Ottawa specifically, so I've been around for a long time in this space since 1996, and uh, we're here to talk a little bit about preparation for the next paradigm, the PTC Labs, that I think a lot of us here are involved with already. So if you listen to a couple of sessions over the next few couple of days, I'm here to talk about how to get that going and why the ecosystem is so absolutely uh, essential. Um, my background back in PKI and all the crypto and all the HSM stuff should come to bear, but I'll try to keep it uh, light and, uh, and informative, and I hope that you come by to talk to my colleague Mark and I at the booth, and uh, looking forward to meeting a lot of you today. Deep trust. Um, yeah. And his or I think they were lost. Yeah, I'm the last one for now. I'm Andreas Wand, um, Business Development Manager at eTrust. eTrust um, is an affiliate of the Bundesdruckerei Group, the, the German Federal Printing Agency, and we are the trust center of it. Um, we were founded in um, 1980, uh, 1998, um, and we are a certified qualified trust service provider according to IDOS and um, also a, a, a trust service provider. And our product portfolio includes um, qualified seals, 
uh, qualified signatures, qualified websites, certificates, and many, many other uh, trust services. That's important. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you, Andreas. So with that, uh, we would like to conclude our welcome session. And uh, if you want to consider joining PKI Consortium, go to pkic.org slash join or scan the QR code.